Now let us learn about dispersion. What do you mean by the dispersion of light? Let us consider one small experiment. Suppose there is one bucket or suppose one big glass pot is there. Okay. Now you insert a mirror in the glass or in the water and from long distance you just send a ray of light through torch or by some other source or maybe by sunlight also. What will happen? The mirror will reflect the light and while reflecting if you take that reflection on wall you will see different colors, color band you will see. This is called as the dispersion of light. That is the splitting of the light into its component color is called as dispersion. Phenomenon of splitting of light into its component colors is called dispersion. Mind well, I have not written here the definition as per book. But whenever you are writing definitions, it must be as per book, word by word. Here I am just writing the points. Okay. And when the dispersion of light happens, you get the color band. Okay. Different color band you get. You see the different colors, just like you see the rainbow. The seven colors you see, that is called as a spectrum. The band of colors, what you see, the band of color you see of that particular light beam is of seven colors and that is called as a spectrum. So what is spectrum is? Is nothing but color band. Now this is first seen or tested by Sir Isaac Newton and hence the concept that does our sunlight is also made up of spectrum came into existence. What Sir Isaac Newton did? Let us see that experiment. As you know that a phenomenon of splitting of light into its component colors is called as dispersion and you also know that whatever the color components that is the band of colors we get is called as the spectrum. Sir Isaac Newton showed this first. He used prism to show this phenomena or to show this spectrum. Everybody knows what prism is. So let us draw the schematic diagram of uh, prism. Sir Isaac Newton took one prism and he passed a white light beam maybe the sunlight beam from one side. Now suppose this is the white light beam or I can say sunlight. As this is a glass, what should happen? The ray should pass directly like this. Isn't it? But this does not happen. This incident light will split into spectrum. There is a different color band. But why we see different color band? I agree that uh, the light is splitting. But why the different color band we get? Because in that color band, like you have colors in rainbow from red to violet, okay, seven colors are there, but the every color does not bend. Every color does not bend with the same angle okay the red color deviates least and the violet color deviates maximum and that is why we get from here the ray should actually pass like this but here from here the first we get the red color because this angle of deviation is minimum and after that we get different colors and at last violet violet color deflects maximum 
okay and that is why we there are seven colors band seven color band is there from red to violet the colors are exactly similar to your rainbow colors because of the red color deviate least it is the first color and because of the violet color deviate maximum the angle is maximum it is the last color sir isaac newton did one more interesting experiment now in the first case he used only one prism okay in the second case he used two prisms that means whatever color band he get on this side this color band this becomes the incident ray for the second prism and from the another side of the prism he got again the white light that means the dispersion happens again all these angles becomes reversed and you get the white light again initially he took one prism only and he got the seven colors incident white ray white light was incident here and he got the spectrum of seven colors then why he did the second experiment because he wanted to make sure that this spectrum is not due to this glass prism this is the phenomenon property of white light that is why what he did he took second prism and he put parallel to the first prism these two sides are parallel and then this color spectrum this spectrum now becomes the incident rays for the second prism okay so what happened initially the white ray the white light ray was dispersed into this spectrum and this spectrum now again combines and you get the white light again and you get the white light again that means this is not this dispersion or this color band was not due to just the glass or the prism this is the inbuilt phenomenon of this white light okay the first experiment he got the spectrum in the second experiment he used that spectrum as a incident light for the second prism and ultimately he got the white light again if you try to do this experiment in the laboratories you will see that these two rays are parallel parallel to each other okay so this was the second experiment done by sir isaac newton so let's move ahead and now we will see how do we get the rainbow how we see the rainbow and where we see the rainbow generally when sun and rain are there at a time or if you are standing in front of fountain which is sprinkling the small droplets of water and sun is there at that time you see the rainbow but rainbow is not only the dispersion of light rainbow is not due to only dispersion of light the rainbow is due to three factors one is dispersion second is refraction and third is reflection when all three phenomena come together you see the rainbow what actually happens a small droplets of water small tiny droplets of water first of all whenever the sunlight enters here it refracts and dispersed that means red and violet and from inside internally those that spectrum is reflected when it reflected this is red this is violet when it reflected it again refracted somehow so first this sunlight is first dispersed and refracted at this point internally inside the water droplet from here it reflected and here it is refracted again 
no there are millions of water droplet a small tiny water droplets are there in the waterfront and as a collective effect of all this you see the beautiful rainbow there not only just just nearby waterfall also because when the water is falling from the high altitude what happens after dashing a small droplet sprinkles everywhere there you can see rainbow a beautiful spectrum you can see there whenever the sun is there and mild raining is there there you can see rainbow in front of fountain you can see rainbow because in fountain also small droplets of water are sprinkling all over so wherever small droplets of water are there in large number of course rare droplets of water should not be there in large number droplets tiny droplets of water must be there and sunlight must be there so in that case first the sunlight is dispersed and refracted then it is internally this is water droplet this is water droplet then internally it is reflected okay this red and violet this dispersed light is reflected reflected out while coming out it again refracted change its path and so as a collective effect of the millions of this tiny water droplets you will see the rainbow now this is one of the important question in your exam how you see the rainbow or how we see the rainbow there you have to draw this figure and you have to write all these things that rainbow is a collective effect of the phenomena of light like dispersion refraction and reflection now let us go to the next topic that is scattering of light which is the last topic of this chapter this chapter is comparatively smaller chapter but few questions are expected from this chapter also because all these three phenomena are very important in our day to day life also so let us now see what is the scattering of light